Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, I know I look a little crazy right now because I went ahead and did my brows and prepped my lids because I want to just do a really quick video talking about this new Revolution and Patricia Bright collab palette that just popped up on the scene, okay? I had no idea that she was doing a palette. I don't know if people that watch her regularly knew about it, but since I don't watch her regularly, just kind of sporadically, I didn't know. It just popped up and I was like, hello. <laughs> so yeah, she came out with two eyeshadow palettes and I think four face palettes that have like blush, contour, and highlight. Now, when I went to order my palette, let me just show it to you right quick. She has two palettes. There's a huge mirror in here, okay? Now she came out with two palettes, one of which is a little more neutral, warm tone, you know, kind of earthy if you're not into bright, crazy colors. And then she has this one. <laughs> so of course you guys know this is the one that I was drawn to. And it's just full of really beautiful, gorgeous shades. I mean, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Now, it's a lot of matte shadows in here, which I love. A lot of mattes. There's a few shimmers in here, like this green, this purple. Um, this pretty shade up here, it's kind of like a pinky purple, is a shimmer as well. And then there's some pressed glitters, as you can see, one here, one here. So it's a nice little variety, colorful palette. And you get just a few, you know, kind of warm tone browns up there to mix it up or if you need a nice transition shade. Now, I paid $25 for this on the Ulta website. I actually paid $20 because I was still able to use my 20% off coupon. So it retails for $25 here in the U.S., but I paid $20 for it. And it came super quick. I mean, I just ordered it and it was at my door. So I'm like, okay, let me hurry up and do a quick little look. So this is what I want to play with today. Just first impression thoughts on the packaging. It is in Revolution's new kind of tin plastic type packaging. As you can see, um, you know, it's kind of thick or whatever. It has the snap closure. But yeah, it's in their tin packaging. I really like the black and gold, you know, detailing on here. The other palette, I believe it's white. The one that's more neutral is white. So I really like the black. On the back, it does list, are those numbers? Yeah. <laughs> so many brands are going with numbers now for the large or larger palettes, which I don't mind. But it does list um, the numbers for the shadows and the palette information here as well. So that's just a little quick information on this palette. But I thought it was so pretty. Now, just for reference, if you can't tell, so this is the Patricia palette. And this is the new, I don't even know what this thing is called. Oh, Chilled. This is the new Chilled palette. So just for size reference, sorry about the ring light, you guys. This is how big it is in comparison to the newer kind of tin, you know, contained palettes. So it is a bit larger, quite a bit larger. And her palette has, what is it, 28 pans? Yeah. Four rows of seven so it has 28 pans in her palette and for the smaller palettes they have six times three 18 <laughs> so that's just a form of reference I love this packaging you guys ain't this packaging bomb oh my gosh it's so bomb but anyways we're not here for this today <laughs> we're here for this now I will go ahead and insert a clip of the swatches of all the shades in this palette just so you can see all of the colors you know swatched out on my arm but I'm really excited to just jump right in and do a look and just see how these shadows perform because y'all these revolution palettes are just getting pricier and pricier and pricier and I understand it's because you know they're doing collabs and stuff so they have to pay the person they're collabing with but I'm gonna need the quality to step up along with the price. So I'm really excited to see how this works out. So let's just go ahead and get started, okay? <laughs> I 
been staining so many of my brushes lately. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a bang. <laughs> so I want to go into this super bright pink and see how that's going to look in my crease. Now I did prep my lids with some of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and that's it. It's not set with powder or anything. Whoa, okay, it's picking up a lot on the brush, a lot. Okay, so she is pretty pigmented. Okay, <laughs> okay, so this shadow is very pigmented, very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead into this yellow. I'm gonna place a little bit of that yellow on top of the pink. Just using it to blend out that edge. Okay, that's pretty, very pretty. It's not like ridiculously pigmented, but it's definitely buildable. I love how pink and yellow look mixed together. So pretty. Okay, so now, I think I'm gonna try out this color here. It's kind of like a really pretty coral type color. I wanna place a little bit of that in my outer corner, really just because I'm curious, just to see how this color lays down. Because sometimes coral shades like that tend to blend away and not really stick. up a little bit but it looks like yeah I'm kind of experiencing that where it's showing up a little bit but not like super duper pigmented I could tell it is a pretty shade though probably if I had a nice white base it would show up better but just right now with me packing it on the way that I am I'm not that impressed yeah you can see it but it's not packing that big of a punch Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease using my cut crease canvas from Revolution so I can play around with some of these shimmers. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of that coral and just kind of soften up the edge of that cut crease a little bit. And right next to that coral, I'm going to tap a little bit just a little bit of that pink. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into this blue shade here. I'll be doing too much. <laughs> but when I first use a palette, I like to play with as many colors as I can. So, so I'm gonna spray it just a little bit. very impressed with this blue the pigmentation is so nice oh that's pretty I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit of purple on this outer corner just so it doesn't look so crazy so I'm gonna add a little bit of purple next to that blue regular eyeshadows don't like to be packed on top of each other um, so a lot of times this doesn't work out <laughs> but they're actually trying that purple is actually trying to stick in that corner on top of that coral and on top of that pink so I am not mad at it okay hello okay and I think I want to go into this green shade here and place that right next to the blue Oh wow, so this shadow here, the green one, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it looks kind of like, it's kind of like a putty type feel, so it's definitely one of those use your finger type shades that I hate. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna try it out, but I'm not gonna use my finger. 
But yeah, it is really putty like. Oh my goodness. Really weird. So I'm gonna try and use it without spraying my brush since it's already kind of, I don't know, it's weird. Wow, it's a gorgeous color though. I don't know if you can see that if I turn the light down a little bit. Very, very pretty green. It's just a, the consistency, oh my goodness. It is like putty. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after I finish putting it on. <laughs> so this is what she looks like after me just using it to put that on my lid. So you can see how crazy that looks. It's, yeah, it's definitely like some strange putty. Okay, you guys, so this is the basics of the look. I'm gonna go ahead, finish my complexion, put on some eyeliner, and then we'll finish up our lower lash line. And I'll give you my first impression thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, so I am back with my complexion done. So let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. Now, most of you guys know I do love a nice colorful eyeliner when I have a colorful look on my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my Profusion, and I think this is like cobalt or something. Y'all know I can't see. Yeah, it's a cobalt blue eyeliner, and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. I'm wearing a blue on my lid this eyeliner just really makes that blue pop I love it okay for my lower lash line I think I want to go in with the purple and smoke it out I'm not in the mood for like the bright pink and coral so I'm just gonna go back into that dark purple that showed out today <laughs> and just smoke out my lower lash line with that like I am not playing with y'all today I am here for the party okay okay so now this palette does have a really pretty gold shimmer shade it's really more of a yellow shimmer so mm, I'm kind of scared because I like how this looks and I don't want to mess it up but I do want a little bit of a pop on my lower lash so yeah I'm gonna take just a little bit of that yellow shimmer and see what happens Okay, good. It looks a little more gold than yellow. Okay, we're almost done. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. Okay, and so to finish off this look today, I kind of want to do something fun with my lips. I feel like I haven't done anything fun with my lips in a while. So since I have a colorful eye look, I want to use one of my Fenty lipsticks and I'm not sure if I want to do pink or coral. I think I'm going to do the pink. I don't know. The coral might be a little too light. Yeah, I'm going to do the pink. But I am going to line my lips just a little bit with some of my ColourPop Ellery Lip Liner. Since it's not a hot girl summer anymore, I better <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> It is bright, <laughs> but not as bright. So yeah, you guys, I just didn't feel like going nude today. I'm happy with this bright pink Fenty lipstick. Okay, so my thoughts on this Revolution and Patricia Bright eyeshadow palette. I don't even think I said the name of this, you guys, because I was so excited to play around in it. This one is called Rich in Color. So the name of the colorful one is Rich in Color. Now. First impressions on the packaging. I don't mind the kind of thicker tin packaging. It doesn't bother me. The mirror is actually very nice. I didn't use it today, but it is a very nice mirror. 
Um, as far as the color selection, I like it a lot. I think it's bomb. I really, really like it. The shadows that I played with were mostly the mattes except for this gorgeous blue, which is my absolute favorite in the palette. Favorite. I was highly impressed with this purple because as you guys saw, I put that purple on top of the this coral shade and I put that on top of the pink. So a lot of times with regular eyeshadows, it's kind of hard to put powder on top of powder on top of powder and it actually show up. So for that purple, I am very, very pleased with it. Um, and on my lower lash line as well. I love it. This green down here, this putty type shadow, very strange and unexpected. I can't say I like it. I love the color of it. I love how it looks on my eyes, but as far as using it, mm -mm, I don't like it because it's just like putty. So it's weird and I don't want, I don't like weird. <laughs> Um, but basically, yeah, the shadows that I used today, the pink, the coral, the yellow, the purple, blue, I have no complaints about the pigment or how they performed or blended out, y'all. I'm feeling it, okay? So I'm very colorful today. It's already November, <laughs> but hey, look, y'all don't judge me, okay? This palette just came out, so I just wanted to use it. But anyway, enough of me yak, yak, yakking. Just wanted to do a quick try out of this palette today. I like it so far. I do, okay? So this is the final look, you guys, with this new Patricia Bright palette. Hopefully you guys like it. Please leave me a comment below. I like to chit chat with you guys. Hit like, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. I would love to make you a part of the KK Squad. Um, but that's it for this video, you guys. I will see you on my next one. Toodles!